Hey there guys, uh, got another one for you. Um, this one is a recent purchase of another high end that I acquired. Um, basically, uh, well, let's just get to it. Uh, this is the sheath that was made for it. Nice little sheath, uh, leather, kind of like a wallet type sheath. Um, here's the knife. Uh, it was made by a gentleman by the name of, so if I could get this in here, focus, Mark Buck, Buckles. Uh, let's see here. It is, um, here we go. Uh, B U C H O L Z. He died in a motorcycle crash. Um, as you can see, the blade is 31 and a quarter inches. Crazy lace, Damascus, 16 layer stainless, three color Makume bolsters, nickel, silver, bronze, brass, with a walrus Uzik dick handle. 24 karat gold screws, titanium liner lock. Um, came with these bags. This is his insignia right there. There's one of them. Here's the other bag that it came with. Nice little bags. Um, <clears throat> Mark is uh, out of Halula. I can't even say it. H O L U A L O A Hawaii. Um, just some other custom knife makers that come out of these regions. Here's one out of Kentucky. Um, let's see here. Here's a little bit more information on Mark. Uh, since he's passed, um, all this information is no longer available. Uh, his specialties are liner lock folders, patterns, hunters and fighters, um, technical grinds, ATS-34, prices, upscale, remarks, full-time maker, first knife sold in 1976. Um, you know, mark his name, city and state, and Buffalo Skull logo or signature. So, just a little bit of detail on him as far as his knives. Um, this is custom, obviously. Uh, the backspacer is in Damascus. Um, liners are a gold titanium. Um, there is that uh, walrus Uzik dick handle. It's a tusk. Um, off of a walrus type tusk is what I read offline or online. Um, the screws are 24 karat gold and there's the bolsters. It's got a nickel silver with a bronze and copper Damascus. There is a little bit of um, I believe that's rust, I'm not sure, positive. Um, a very smooth liner lock. It's got early lockup. Sorry, wow, I'm just not being able to focus at all here, guys. Um, very solid lockup. So, nice up and down, no play. Um, the thumb stud is of the Damascus and let's see if I can get this in video and there is the Damascus blade um, I don't know a whole lot of information on this gentleman um, other than what I just showed you guys uh, I decided to pick this guy up um, just because 
trying to get into high hands, and this one just really grasped my eye. Um, there is a small amount of rust right here, right there, in the blade, um, which I've oiled it up. There you go. There you can see it a little bit better. Um, as well as some rust right there and um, but as far as that I believe is all of the rust that I that I have found um, oh minus there's one spot right back here um, very very nice detail um, the lines in this are all perfect so he did very nice work on this um, no gaps no spacing no nothing of the sort um, very smooth the blade is off center but that's just because I don't care to go in with a screwdriver and try to remove the gold um, screws if I ever decide to si decide to sell this at some point maybe I'll you know, take it apart, go inside to the liners and tighten it up or loosen it up, whichever it needs to be. Um, as far as quality though, this is excellent, excellent knife. Um, just beautiful in every detail. Uh, as far as the pricing goes on this, um, I'm not sure necessarily what it would go for uh, on the market as I got it at a fairly good price um, still very high-end uh, not quite as high-end as my previous video of me showing my Mike Erie um, but considering that he has passed uh, this blade probably went up in price um, <clears throat> now when it comes to Damascus guys you have to maintain it and take care of it very very well um, I got it like this with the slight amount of rust on it um, so you'll have to maintain your Damascus very very well because it will rust very easily uh, just because of its very high carbon content um, even though you do have the the nickel um, steel in there, the actual um, carbon inside of the steel of the of the Damascus is very high in um, rustability. Um, so you do have to take care of it. Uh, that's one thing that I'm gonna have to do is hopefully with um, some oil or I uh, can't think of the name of it. Um, let's see. Break the sign the packet uh, with your tough cloth. Hopefully, your tough cloth will be able to prevent that from happening. Um, but very, very well designed knife. A lot of thought went into um, everything inside of this knife, uh, as far as the the bolsters, the coloration um, of the liners as well as the gold screws um, everything is just, it all runs very very smoothly absolutely beautiful um, the detail that, and thought that went into this work is just beyond me, I cannot believe you know the thought process that went into this, why you know I would choose to sit there and use a let's see here a nickel silver bronze and brass to go into a bolster so that it would match up well with you know the walrus tusk and um you know the gold and everything else so just excellent thought process on his part um absolutely beautiful beautiful knife i'm just i'm in awe of this knife it's going to make an excellent addition to my collection um, I love that Damascus 
I mean that stuff is just gorgeous the way that it shines and um, you know just the intricacies of it uh, crazy lace Damascus is what kinda made me laugh because when I first saw it I thought it was the latter Damascus um, that Chris Reeve uses from um, uh, sorry I'm having a brain fart yet again from um, uh, Devin Thomas's Damascus uh, his latter design of Damascus but this is crazy lace uh, this was done by Mark Buckschultz um, he did all the Damascus work himself and uh, I definitely like the crazy lace um, name better than ladder Damascus uh, just kinda has a better name to it I think in my mind um, than ladder so that's basically the review I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it um, I absolutely love this knife this thing is just awesome in every detail will make a fine addition to my collection um, any questions or comments uh, would be greatly appreciated on any of my most recent videos um, sorry I know I kinda spit a bunch out there but like I said I've been very busy lately and this is really the only time that or should I say the only day that I was able to upload these and um, put them on the net so uh, hopefully you guys have a great day and um, yeah talk to you later thanks bye